Electron microscope use electron beam to observe an object instead of using light. Electron gun used to shoot an electron beam is located at the very top of the microscope. Cosm's electron microscope use heat emitting tungsten filament. This tungsten filament has advantages that it is cheap and capable of use at a low degree of vacuum at about 10 to negative 5th power of Tor. However, its beam dimension and luminance isn't that great. Moreover, its hours of use are 40 to 100 hours, which are short. The electron beam from the gun focuses on the condensing lens and goes through the objective lens to reach the sample. Many of you will be wondering about the role of condensing lens and objective lens. Condensing lens focuses the electron beam to make it small, whereas objective lens places the electron beam at the position desired. It accurately places the beam at an observing position. When the electron beam collides with the sample, various signals occur. In an electron microscope, we collect the SE, also known as secondary electron, to observe the film. By using such secondary electrons, we can observe the basic form of the sample and the surface condition. Moreover, by collecting the backscattering electron, also known as BSE, by BSE detector, we can observe the morphology of the specimen. Constituent analyzer known as EDS can collect a specific x-ray to analyze the specimen's constituents. The reason why EDS analyzer is useful is that we can use the microscope to observe the sample and know the constituent at a specific position easily and fast. According to the secondary electron detector, SC itself has a negative charge and it spreads out to all around. To increase the collecting efficiency of SE, SC detector has a positive charge in the front of the detector and the scattered secondary electrons will come near the positive charge. This electron signal will change to light signal through the detector and the light signal will again be amplified to change to electric signal. Thus, such signal's quantity and brightness will determine the black, white, and gray level on the screen. If you have seen a colored electron microscope picture, its image has been post-modified. By using the Photoshop's gradation function, we can easily make the image colorful. If you take apart the electron gun cover, you can see the inside structure of EM30. EM30 stages consist of automatic system of x-axis, y-axis, and t-axis. Let's make it operate. Also, we use COSIM's unique one-touch locking system to help the user to fix the sample much easily and accurately. The most important part before using the electron microscope is the preparation of the sample. First, cut the carbon tape and attach it to the stub. Carbon tape firmly secures the sample and increases the conductivity. Then, fix the sample you want to observe on top of the carbon tape. If the sample isn't tightly secured, sample will move when you observe. In the case of insulators, correct SEM observation is difficult due to electrification. Therefore, proper preprocessing is required to use the SEM. Then, combine the stub and the specimen holder. Estimate where the sample is located according to the ruler. After the sample preparation is over, click the vent button to make the chamber to air state. When the chamber door opens, remove the used sample by using the hexagonal wrench. After removal, firmly secure the prepared sample. If it's not firmly secured, observation will be difficult because the image will move.
about the sample position. The direction you see when you see the sample from above will be shown on the screen. Therefore, consider the direction when you load the sample. After the sample is secured, switch the chamber to vacuum state by pump. LED bar will also increase correspondingly with the degree of vacuum. When you change the filament, you have to align the electron gun. We will now begin the hardware align. Turn the electron beam on and maximize the filament current. Magnify the electron beam size to 16. Set the electron gun to the origin. If nothing appears on the screen, adjust the contrast. Set RED mode, open up the case, and align it by controlling the four bottom screws in the bottom of the electron gun. You need to repeat the process of winding and unwinding the diagonal screw to find the brightest position. Repeat until you find the brightest position. After finding it, softly tighten the screw to secure position. After the process complete, close the case. After aligning the gun hardware is over, we need to align the gun align UI. We will now begin the gun align UI. Change the x-axis electron gun electron value on the lower right hand corner of the software to find the brightest location. Change the value for y-axis also. After aligning the gun, minimize the filament current and select the auto button to find the saturation point for the filament. In the microscope, there is a diaphragm which can control the beam size. For adjusting position, there are two knobs in X and Y direction, and diaphragms have various sizes, 30 micro, 50 micro, 100 micro, and 200 micro. You can opt not to use the diaphragm depending on the situation. You can control it 200 micro, 100 micro, 50 micro, 30 micro reversely. We will now begin the diaphragm aligning. Let's magnify and change the focus. If the image position changes in the case of focus change, aligning is necessary. Since this moves up and down, Diaphragm aligning process is in need. Set the appropriate magnification to 500 times and click the wobble button to see where the image moves. If the image moves up and down, use the Y knob to turn in which the movement decreases.
Conversely, if the image moves left and right, use the X knob to turn in direction in which the movement decreases. Thus, use the X knob if the image moves left and right, and Y knob if the image moves up and down. Align it so that the image's focus just changes on its location. Magnify it a little more to initiate wobble process. Similar to above, control the X and Y knob according to the moving direction. Like this, if there is no movement and only the change of focus, it is in good state. Magnify it a little more to make sure that there is no movement. If there is no movement, aligning is good, so press the wobble button again to end it. If the diaphragm is turned too much, the image will not show. In such cases, move the X knob to center it. Turn the Y knob till the end and unwind it four times. After this process, the turn diaphragm will find its rightful place. Now, I will explain about the program. There is the switch button for the vent and pump state. Next to it, there is the beam on and off button, nano station end button, and the emergency button. The part below indicates vacuum state. Then, when the filament is saturated, you can control the bias value to control the emission current value according to the series. You can also control the electron beam size and the electron gun array. You can set up the acceleration voltage and set up magnification fixed magnification, and user magnification. Adjust focus by coarse focus, fine focus, and stick. With the detector, change input signal with SE and BSE. Set up the observing mode to RED, TV, slow, photo, and freeze. In the save, there is snapshot, clipboard, and save. Execute the EDS program. Looking at the bottom, you can see the information for the stage. You can insert various tools 
or control the brightness gamma. There is movement in the X and Y and R direction. This is not a stage movement. It is a change in the direction of the beam to control the X, Y, and R. But there lies limitation in that it is beam movement rather than stage movement. Now we will measure the specimen. First, turn the beam on. After turning the beam on, filament gets saturated according to the series. Because the initial stage is located at home, press the center button to move it to the center. After relocation is complete, move it to the position desired by double click. One precaution is that in an enlarged state, it's difficult to tell the position and the shifting time is longer. So, scale it down. After locating it to position desired, put the cursor on top of magnification and magnify it with a wheel. After magnification is complete, turn on the RED mode to adjust the focus. After setting the focus generally with coarse focus, Make it more precise with fine focus. Then modify the stick X and Y to make it a more clear image. If you need further modification, modify the fine focus and then correct it with stick. After revision is complete, set up the appropriate magnification and correct the contrast, brightness, and gamma, and click the photo button to clearly scan the image. There is snapshot which can save multiple copies and save button which can save a single copy. To save single copy, click the save button to set up the saving location. With the snapshot images, multiple copies are saved temporarily in the image tab. You can save multiple copies of the images by clicking Save All. Single save is also possible. After saving is complete, set up the TV mode, which is observation mode. Like previous step, Move after reducing the magnification. Magnify with a wheel. 
revise the focus. After focusing, set up the magnification and adjust contrast, brightness, and gamma. Scan the image. If you want to insert shapes or insert measurements, do so after scanning the photo. Toolbox is located below the image. Length. Angle. Area. text. Save by doing snapshot or save like the above. Delete the toolbox by clicking the X button. After completion, turn the beam off. Turn off the nano station. Assembly of filaments which forms the basis for electron microscope has important correlation with electron occurrence efficiency. Assembly of filaments is the first step in using the electron microscope. Electrons from the filaments are formed in a bundle. By using a well-known cylinder, the electron beams are collected and transferred to the sample with directionality. Initially, the filament is attached. However, after 40 to 100 hours of uses, it will lose its function and the filament will disconnect, requiring new filament to be inserted. Filament combined with the awareness cylinder before inserting an electron gun, and in case of disconnection, vent it, open the gun, and change it. To combine an aligned filament and a wellness cylinder, prepare filament, wellness cylinder, filament jig, sanitary glove, 1.4 mm hexagonal wrench, and 1.4 mm flat head screwdriver. First, put the gloves on and insert the filament into the jig and secure it. Cover the filament with the bottom part of the cylinder. Then, by using the hexagonal wrench to adjust four screws in the bottom part of cylinder, center the filament. Check if the bottom of the cylinder and the filament is secure. Then, assemble the top part of the wellness cylinder. Take care to make sure that the tip of the filament is not damaged. Check to see if the center hole and the tip on the center circle. If not, screw and unscrew the bottom screws to make the tip be placed in the center.
Make sure that the tip is at the center. Then tighten the top of the cylinder to the end. After tightening, unwind it two times. After unwinding it two times, tighten the screw at the top of the cylinder by using the flat hat driver. Filament Replacement Open up the case and vent it. After turning to air state, open the electron gun at the top. Unwind the wellnut protection cap counterclockwise and remove it. Remove the cylinder that has a disconnected filament by pulling it straight up. Insert the new cylinder with the new filament. Then cover it with walnut protection cap and firmly secure it. Close the electron gun at the top and pump it to make it to vacuum state. 